What's up guys? I'm back with a collection update. Um, I haven't done one of these in a little while, so I'm really glad that I finally get to do one of these. Um, I've been waiting on some stuff to get here. It's been taking a lot longer than I was expecting. But, uh, what are you gonna do, right? So I got it all in. So today, I have a stack of CDs and I actually got a record. A record for once. And uh, I guess I'll just show that first. So, this is Twilight Force with the album Tales of Ancient Prophecies. Twilight Force is a Swedish, I believe, symphonic power metal band. They're great. Um, I don't usually leave the plastic on here, but I don't have any sleeves right now, so I'm just uh, keeping it on there until I have the uh, extra cash to go pick up some more of them. So, uh, yeah, check out that album art. That is awesome. Um, back, really cool artwork, I love this. Um, the inside. It is just a single sleeve with a printed inner, nice map thing, then uh, the other side with the lyrics, band photo, and it comes just on straight black vinyl with some pretty damn cool labels. The castle, same on both sides, obviously different music, unless, unless you're some kind of drug, not understanding that. But, um, yeah, this is a great album. Uh, this band is a lot like Rhapsody of Fire, if you know them. Uh, Fairy Tale Land, stuff like that. I guess Stradivarius, kind of, not really, but more along the lines of Rhapsody of Fire with that really bombastic symphonic sound. Uh, I guess kind of Epica. Great, great album. Great pickup. Very glad. This is actually... One of the first LPs I ever ordered online that isn't from Hell's Headbangers. So, I just thought of something. I have you guys resting on my CDs. So, because they're going to get moved, relocated, there you go. And here's the CDs. First thing is, alright, the top five are from Siren Records in McHenry. And uh, the bottom six are from CDN Records. First one is... Uh, Drog, Drodig by Black Funeral. Uh, I hear a lot of people talk about Black Funeral, and I felt like it was finally time for me to give them a shot. Uh, they're pretty solid, pretty solid band, uh, pretty enjoyable, I'd say, uh, if I'm in the mood for this. I'm not that into the raw black metal sound, but um, yeah, this really hits the spot when I am. Go lay down, go lay down, buddy. Jesse's, Jesse's pestering. Um, this is Black Funeral. Just doing Black Funeral, really. They're a great band. If you don't know them, I'm sure uh, you'll hear more about them because Asgore from Drowning the Light just joined them. Next is another band I hear a lot about. Uh, this is My Soul for His Glory by Behexen. Behexen is a Finnish black metal band. Uh, kind of death metal-y now, too. Black death. They sound a lot like this nowadays, the last record, Behemoth. Um, yeah, they're, they're great. This album's awesome. This is a, kind of that lower mid black metal wretch rather than the high as uh, some of their you know sister bands like Horn on Behexen and As a Goal and all of them do. Um, this is a great, great album. If you don't know this album, I'd be pretty surprised if you're a Behexen fan. But if you don't, definitely check it out if you like old school black metal because it is a great, great album. Next, it's the only not black metal CD here. Uh, this is Awaken the Guardians by Fate's Warning. I was watching a Marty Warm video and uh, he said that this is his favorite album. Like ever, I think, or something like that. But, uh, yeah. I saw him talk such high regards for this, and considering I'm a power metal fan, I feel as if it's critical. Cool, Metal Blade CD. Big, big fan of this. This is a killer album. Uh, Brian Schlegel actually produced this. This is 1984, or no, 1986. Great, great album. Uh, if you like heavy metal and power metal, you'll like this, and I'm sure you already know Fate's Warning if you do. But if you don't, check out Awaken the Guardian. Next, it's another one that uh, I needed a CD by. I got the patch last time around, uh, but this is Armored Bastille Hell by Enthroned. Oh my god, 
this is some ferocious black metal from Belgium. Wow, this is ridiculous. Like, Enthroned competes with Marduk, or Marduk, for ferocious, ferocity. I think ferocity is the word. But yeah, they compete with that for the style. This would look like, you know, the steel black metal, war metal album. I mean, it kind of is the steel to an extent, because it is that vicious. Like, it's so blistering fast, and it's just angry. It's so good. Um, yeah, this is a great band. If you don't know Enthroned, for some reason, I don't hear a lot of people talk about them, but if you don't know them, I would suggest you check this out immediately. And next is the last thing from Siren Records. This is um, some NSBM, which is not a common theme on my channel, because I usually don't see it. I usually just... Uh, gotta order it so I just don't usually get it but I do sometimes this is a Listowiec with uh, Asgard Mysteries uh, San Francisco based NS project uh, two guys um, this is a lot like Burzum like a lot of NS bands seem to really worship Burzum but this is extremely prevalent here I would definitely suggest you check this out if you like Burzum, and if NS doesn't scare you, and if it does, quit complaining. Great, great album. Uh, it doesn't play in my car, which really sucks, because it won't get as listened to nearly as often because of that. But yeah, um, I'll check this out. Leskowiec, L-A-S-C-O-W-I-E-C. Great album. And next is my CDN package for my birthday a uh, couple weeks ago. So the first one is something that I've really been wanting to have and I'm extremely happy that I finally got it into my collection because it's probably the most infamous album in black metal. Definitely the most infamous. Um, Dawn of the Black Hearts by Mayhem. The Digipack reissue. Gorgeous. Gorgeous Digipack. Very, very well done. This is a super good reissue. Um, <clears throat> yeah. This is great. Everything about this is great. You know, it's got the Dawn of the Black Hearts live in Sarpisburg, Norway in 1990. Then it's got live in Lillehammer, Norway in 1986 of them playing all cover songs, it looks. I don't know Dance Macabre. Um, I don't really know who actually wrote that. Uh, Black Models by Venom, Procreation of the Wicked's Celtic Frost, Welcome to Hell is again Venom um, but yeah I don't really know who Dance Macabre is written by is it a Hellhammer song I don't know if you know let me know so I don't uh, sound like an idiot and then uh, the pure fucking Armageddon demo is also on here and I'm sure you already know that so yeah this is a really cool thing to have in my collection a real unofficial official copy of this very glad to own it been really into this style for quite some time so I feel like I've really been slacking on not owning this I'm putting it back in the sleeve because these are the greatest invention ever for the worst format of CD did you pack next is one of my favorite bands behemoth from the pagan vast land uh, this just got reissued as well couldn't just leave it in the distro could not leave that in the distro look at that this is such a great album. I almost bought this as a patch, but I got the back patch instead, so I just didn't get this. Um, it's from the Pagan Fast Lands. If you don't know this, get your head out of your ass and go listen to this. This is great, great black metal. If you hate Behemoth now, listen to this. You will not hate this Behemoth if you like good black metal. There's nothing to dislike about this. It's so good. It's raw. It's aggressive. It's mildly atmospheric. It's very Emperor-esque, but not the weird Emperor. Like the original Wrath of the Tyrants, Night's Night Eclipse, Emperor. But more raw and just... I don't know. I prefer this Emperor. So I would listen to Behemoths from the Pagan Vast Lands immediately. Next is a blind buy from there. I'm very glad I got it. It's really good. Really, really good. Uh, this is Pohast, P-O with a squiggly, 
H J A S T, and then Matust is the album. Um, this got really talked up in the description, so I couldn't leave it there. I mean, look at that art. How could you just leave this in a distro for like, it was 10 bucks and I got 70% off for $3. You're an idiot if you do that. And I love this picture right there. Look at that. Gorgeous. Love that picture. And then the disc. Um, yeah, the description talked this up and kept comparing it to Bathory, so I, I got it. And I'm very glad I did. If you like Blood on Ice era Bathory, Nordlands, this will definitely uh, carry the torch for your mood there. I mean, look at that art. I just can't get over that art. It looks even better in person. Great. And the last three are by the same band. Um, I've been meaning to get stuff by this band, and every time I go somewhere, it's expensive. So I go on uh, CDN, and they're like 15 bucks and then 70% off, so they were like not even five bucks each. So I picked up the first three records. This is Primordial with Imradium, or Im, Im, Imradima, I don't know, the first album. Awesome, comes with uh, Live in Cork City, Ireland, February 1994 DVD, which is awesome. It also comes with the uh, Dark Romanticism demo from 1993. Primordial's first record's great. Um, I don't really talk about them because I don't own any. Well, now I do, but <laughs> yeah. The second record, A Journey's End. Very awesome. Uh, they, this came with Live at the Ritz in 1999. Um, all of these came with DVDs pretty much, or at least a bonus disc. Uh, there was just a straight DVD that I was going to buy too, but I ran out of cash. And I'm kind of mad because I could have bought the second Borkengar album as well. But I didn't because I forgot to put it back into my cart. Whatever. I could always find it. Uh, but yeah, Live at the Ritz and uh, Our Journey's On. Great, great Primordial album. And the last one is the third Primordial album, Spirit of the Earth of Flame. Slipcase of the exact same thing as the Digipack besides the back which is stupid, a uh, very cheap digipack style, I think, uh, but it's, it's a cool process, disc 2, disc 1, I think, um, yeah, disc 2 is a live show, and uh, some covers, ba uh, Bathory, they did Total Destruction, and by Riding Christ, they did Inside the Eye of Elcano, um, I'm not too into that band, so I don't really know much about their stuff um, but yeah that's it for this update guys I hope you guys enjoyed it and hopefully there will be more to come very very soon if not I'll be making more videos recently my life is mildly slowed down a little bit shit uh, so yeah that's it my friends I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you next time keep it greasy